Breaking news everyone because finally, finally Mojang will no longer do mob vote. And mob vote started back on 2017 and then it later on got replaced by biome votes and then mob vote came back and it's been really really unfair to see the mobs that you want get cheated on or or didn't win. So today um, a new article from the minecraft.net website was uploaded. It was published 15 hours ago by Ryan Cooper. Okay, September 9, 2024. So we're gonna read it. Mob vote has been confirmed to no longer happen every minecon as in Minecraft Live. Speaking of Minecraft Live, we'll find out a lot of details here. And remember the petition from last year that to remove mob vote. I was thinking last year maybe this will be a wake-up call for Mojang. What if the petition works? And what if this year 2024 nothing will happen? There won't be any mob vote. And I can't believe they really did it. So let's go read the future of Minecraft's development, looking ahead at what's to come. This year we celebrated Minecraft's 15th birthday. We spent we have spent 15 years mining, crafting, and surviving together. Semicolon. But we all we have also spent the last 15 years evolving the cave game, the old name of Minecraft of 2009, into the Minecraft you play today. I mean from notch. From the addition of jungle biomes in 2012 to the trial chambers. Chambers, oh my gosh, in 2024. Each free update has expanded our game's blocky universe a little further. And you, our treasured community, have been with us every step of the way. Together we have crafted a game that has stood the test of time. And as we look to, towards our 16th birthday, oh, they're talking about the next anniversary next year, and beyond, we are here to talk about the future of Minecraft's development, how we are working to bring you new futures more regularly, the changes we are making to Minecraft Live, and more. Interesting, guys, right? Getting chills there? So here, I really love this, what they did this year. The future drops update where in a, in any minor, in some minor updates of Minecraft, they add mobs and some futures. Even if minor updates are supposed to be bug fixes and glitch fixes, yeah, they're adding mobs in future. So more regular future drops. We know that you want new Minecraft content more often. Yeah, we don't want to wait longer like years, which is why we are changing our future development rhythm. Instead of providing one free update during the summer, yes, that's true, every year, remember, we only get big updates every year. It will take us um, a year to wait for another update with new features, as we have done in the past. We'll now be releasing a number of free game drops throughout the year, so yes, finally, guys, we're gonna have more. If that armadillo and wolf armors and wolf variants was not enough, we're gonna have more drop updates. This game drops will vary in size and will bring you features to explore more frequently. Sharp art players will have spot our first trial of these drops all the way back in December 2023 when we made visual changes to bats, which I really love and so is one of my best friends, and turned decorated pots into functional storage containers. Yeah. Next game, Armored Pose. This is the first drop update, which this is the one I just talked about, which included armadillos, wolf var variations, and wolf armor and released in April 2024, which I news reported at Dragon News. And now this is Dragon News. And that's not all our devel developers will be working on. Minecraft is a game that has been growing since its first release. Even there were downfalls, but that's okay. And alongside this regular content drops, our developers will be focusing on long-term initiatives to ensure we can continue to evolve Minecraft long into the future. Right now, we're, we are also working on bringing a native version of Minecraft to the PlayStation 5. Okay, cool. Because Minecraft is better when friends can play together on whichever device they want. Yeah, correcting that. If you want mobile and console to be together, you have to buy something in console, like a pa um, what do you call that? Like something, a monthly pass, whatever you call that. Yeah, happened to me and my ex when we were playing Minecraft Bedrock and when I was playing on the phone and she was on the Switch. Anyway, over the coming year, we'll also be exploring ways to improve Minecraft's multiplayer experience and make it easier to find and connect with friends. Okay, that's cool. So based on their wording there, I think it will be like Roblox or some other video games where you just maybe friend requests? No, there are friend requests in Minecraft Bedrock, but you know, maybe something more easier than just using Xbox Live or something. A new format for Minecraft Live, also known as Minecon. We are changing the format of Minecraft Live and retiring the mob vote to bring you something new. <laughs> Good. If you guys are removing mob vote Mojang, you better not bring back Biome's vote because that's technically mob vote. In Biome's vote, you still need one biome to win and that biome has the features and the mobs in it. So please, if you guys say removing if you guys are removing mob vote, you should remove 
buy and vote as well. You should not do any form of voting anymore to make the Minecraft community pressured to bring you something new. Instead of doing one show per year, usually in October, yes, mostly Minecon, Minecon Live, Minecraft Live, they're always October. Minecraft will now become a more focused broadcast and it will happen twice per year. So, so when they're saying this, is it this year as well? Are we gonna have two Minecons this year? Are they in the same month? Are they one month apart? Yeah, we'll see. Although there are many live streams of Minecraft, that's not Minecon, Minecraft Live, but yeah. Each show will be packed with everything you need to know about the latest features we are working on. But are there still gonna be other segments like the old Minecons? We'll see. What's coming into testing and the newest news from across the Minecraft franchise. So this will let us share the features we are working on with you more regularly. Alright, this is really interesting. A future shaped together. Your feedback and suggestions contribute enormously to what gets added into the game. Yes guys, keep using Minecraft suggestions page. The, the official feed, feedback site there. there. In the, into the game. In fact, you have probably influenced Minecraft's development more than you know. Cherry Grove, which were added to Minecraft as part of the Trails update, were suggested by a community member. Um, mm hmm, I see. Likewise, variations to wolves, including the ability for wolves to have different skins based on biomes, also started life as a handful of community suggestions or official feedback size. Site to site! Like I said in the past, I want all the Minecraft Earth skins, like the sheep skins, the cow skin, the pig skin, the chicken skins, everything there to be added in Minecraft. It will make Minecraft colorful. You know what I mean? One of my best friends and I, we talked about this just a few days ago. Your feedback doesn't just help inspire what goes into the game. It also helps us iterate on futures throughout development. So yeah, guys, Mojang listens, even if some of you guys think they don't. They're just too busy. Two. When the armadillo first released into testing, a lot of our community reacted to the armadillo's visual design, yes, and provided feedback on how they did like to see it improve. When the first design of armadillo was released on Minecon, Minecraft Live, everyone loved it. But then when Mojang added it, it looked weird. Yeah, there are two eyes in front of the head. What is that thing? So they changed it. The armadillo you see in the game today with its eyes firmly on the side of its head, like, like how... A real armadillo should be, and not on the front, was shaped by the community and your feedback. See? So we can, there are some images here. Here you can see the first design of the armadillo mob left, and the final mob design right. This is the first. This is the first. This is the final design of the armadillo mob. Yeah, just really cool. Your voice will help Mojang improve things, guys. And with your voice, you guys destroyed mob vote forever. Thank you, guys. I've been waiting since 2017. You know, my vote in Minecraft's mob vote at 2017, it was actually the... Um, what did I vote there? I think it was Mob C. Not the Hovering Inferno, but then, yeah, Phantoms won. Similarly, your feedback on the early designs of Wolf Armor led us to making it stronger. Yes, because Wolf Armor, when it was tested way back, creepers can still kill your wolves. Like, that's such a bummer, even they had wolf armors. Protect your wolves even more thoroughly when they adventure with you throughout the overworld. We are excited for a future of Minecraft in which we get to share more features with you more regularly and in which your suggestions continue to become a reality. We hope you'll join us for another 15 years. Wow, that's 30 years, Mojang, and hopefully even more. From all of us here at Mojang Studios, thank you. Minecraft wouldn't be Minecraft without you all. Thank you, Mojang, for finally listening. You know, we didn't like what happened to Mob Vote at 120, but we didn't like what happened at Mob Vote 120 when Dream Dream grinded that 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 Mob Vote with that glow squid of Minecraft Earth. But I like it because. The glow squid is currently the only mob that survived the shutdown of Minecraft Earth. That's why I'm saying add all the skins and mobs of Minecraft Earth to Minecraft. Because it will make Minecraft colorful. And yeah, that's all for now. Rest in peace, mob vote. It, I remember it was so nostalgic remembering the very first mob vote back in 2017. The time where Jeb, Jeb's videos of were about him describing the mobs, the sketches of the mobs. Yeah. Covering Infernus in Minecraft Dungeons years later, but they should add it to Mo Minecraft. Not Mo <laughs> Minecraft. Anyways, what do you guys think about this big news? We're gonna see more Minecraft updates, more frequent drops. Yeah, and 
I, I didn't get the news report that bundles finally got added to Minecraft in snapshots after bundles were were not tackled since 2020. But now everything's coming. I hope the Illusioner comes back to Minecraft. I mean, all the removed mobs, I hope they come back as well. Everything, just give notice to everything, Mojang. Not just the people, but to the, you know, abandoned futures. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.